Good morning, everyone. I'm sorry for the slight lateness. I was just finishing the program. Uh, today, we come together as members of North Carolina Central University and as a family to pause and to reflect on the past year and the hopefulness that lies ahead in the year to come. As a community, we recognized the impact of the COVID-19 or the pandemic, which has caused so many of us seemingly to change our lives overnight and shifted our ability to connect with our family, friends, and other loved ones. From the way we've altered our teaching, our learning modality last academic year, to losses we may have experienced in our lives, in the lives of our loved ones, we remain resilient, focused, and committed to making it through all of the challenges that come our way. As chancellor of this institution, I can say to you that COVID has tested our resilience, and we have passed in flying colors. As I noted, Nearly two years ago, when we found ourselves in this pandemic situation, we had to move as a community. Our students, our professors, our staff, our colleagues, our stakeholders, we had to move them into different, different spaces. And like the fearless eagles that we are, the eagles that fly above the storm, we are all uniquely courageous and have proved that we can survive. This morning, I want you to know that as a family of learners and educators, we have shown that if we work together as an institution, we can persevere. This morning, I want to take the opportunity to say to those members of our family that may no longer be with us, to those family members that we have lost, to the students, to the teachers, to the staff, to children, to relatives that may have succumbed to this pandemic, we are with you. And for those of you who are no, no longer with us, your memories are still with us. We know that this pandemic is not over yet. We are still in it. But it's, it is important for us to remind ourselves that as long as we hold on together, there is no mountain, there is no obstacle that we cannot overcome. And there is no pandemic that can destroy our institution. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. 
we are gradually and slowly returning to what may be considered some normalcy. But I want you to know that our normal is not going to be the usual normal anymore. If there is one lesson that we've all learned from this situation is that we have the fortitude, the resilience to persevere and to survive. Together, as an institution, as a family, we will continue to celebrate our individual and collective successes and triumphs. At our core, our NCCU family is unequivocally bound by a sense of deep pride for our community. And I cannot conclude my remarks this morning without expressing our sincere and deep gratitude to all the providers in the student affairs, in our health department, in our testing labs, in our vaccination labs, in our classrooms, in our dining hall, in our residential hall. All of you, all of you have played a part in NCCU being able to stand. And I also want to thank those who have taken the time to plan this event, for us to just take a moment and to say to each other, we can make it. This morning, please spend the next 30 minutes listening to a poetry reading, inspirational music selections, interfaith prayer, spoken word, and resources that will assist each of us. And additionally, you will hear instructions on, a sign -in, on the signing of a virtual wall of healing and hope, and sharing your personal words of encouragement. Lastly, we do not want to end our time together without providing our students, our faculty and staff, with helpful resources that can be used in our everyday lives. Please remember, this is a time for healing and for hope. I know it's not easy. I know we live, we're living in a very, very interesting times in our nation. I don't have to stand here this morning and tell you the challenges that we face as a nation. But as an institution, this is our time for healing and for hope. Thank you. We look forward to enjoying the, this program that has been planned for us. My name is Chima Okoli, graduate student at Sciences. I'll be taking the poem, Still Arise, by Maya Angelou. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I will rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I'll walk 
Like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns with a certainty of tides. Just like hopes springing high, still I will rise. If you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries. Mm. Does my heartiness upset you? Why do you take it all for hard? Because I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. <laughs> you must shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness. But still, like air, I will rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise? That I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my ties? Out of the hearts of history, shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I am a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide, leaving behind the terrors and fears of the nights, I rise. Into a daybreak, as wondrously clear, I rise. I am the hope, bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. I am the hope and the dream of the slave. I rise. I rise, and we all rise. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Jared Little. I'm an undergraduate music student here at NCCU, and I just come to bring a message of hope. Why? Should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel, feel lonely and long? For heaven home, when Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he, his eyes on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. And his eye is on the sparrow, and I know, I know, he watches. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness, Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All thy hath needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness. 
Lord, unto me great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All thy hath needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, great is thy faithfulness. Lord, un, Lord, un, unto me. Good morning. I am Pastor Gloria Winston Harris, Director of NCCU's Office of Spiritual Development and Dialogue. As our Chancellor has shared with us today the importance of family, we know that a family that prays together stays together. And so I ask you to join now in this family prayer. Gracious and merciful God, we come giving thanks to you for the power of healing and hope today. We offer thanks for how you have been with NCCU throughout the years. Today we gather to share, to encourage, and to celebrate what you have done on this campus. May it be so that as we gather, we not only witness your presence upon us, but may we know that you are still in charge. May it be so that as we reflect on this year and those that are suffering, those that have gone through many situations, physical, emotional, and spiritual, may it be so that we believe in your healing power today. And may it be so that as we pray for those that are going through many situations beyond NCCU, let us lift them up today. We pray as a family believing in healing, believing in renewed hope today. Merciful God, help us to stand as we go forward to encourage one another, to lift each other up, and to celebrate the good we give thanks for this institution filled with staff, faculty, students, administrators, our chancellor, alums, and many community partners that have poured into NCCU. We pray today for each of them. We pray that as those that are listening today and those that are present will receive renewed hope and healing. May it be so that we believe this as a family, that we stand on this as a family, now and forevermore. Amen. Good morning. My name is Taylor Cotton. I'm an undergrad student here at North Carolina State University, majoring in business administration and mass communications. I'm here performing a piece written by myself, Breathe, written at January 28th, 11:15 p.m. I write to those who carry the weight from those who left it for you. Even the weight you have for yourself as it breaks and cracks your back, those who are afraid to let your mask down Looking in the mirror, put on a smile that just wows the crowd. 
to whom it may concern, I know you're tired. Tired of waking up and feeling the same way every day. Tired of going through the motions. Tired of putting your stuff last to those who never even consider putting you first. You're tired. As you're slowly slipping, getting the rope burned from holding on so long, I think it's time to let go. It takes some time for yourself once in a while. It's time, my love, to appreciate yourself for all the hell you've been through. Even when you fail, you still made it through the underlying trauma that still abuses you. Have you ever thought about what it's like to take care of you? Or are you just going to let the burdens keep applying pressure to your back that causes the cracks to multiply and take over your body that not only becomes a liability to not just yourself, but to others as well? And now, as it reaches your face, you put on a mask to hide the piece that fell out while trying to push back. While yes, old keys hold no purpose to new doors, but holding on to pain that never, holding on to pain can make you lose things that's never meant to drop along the way. It's finally time to decide to put you first today. Find some quiet time and love you more than you love those who will walk past you through your worst trials. Take into account that drugs are only temporary. Pain will, on, pain will always come around eventually. Take a break from those alluring things, my darling. Addictions are addictions for a reason as you cope being an addict to things that will never make your imaginary reality. I'm saying getting professional help isn't such a bad thing. Stop believing and numb yourself and calling easy. Healing comes when you admit to yourself you ain't got like you say you do and that's okay. I'm proud of you for trying today. I'm proud of you for getting up today even when you want to lay down and cry all day. Today we celebrate the small things. But darling you, it's time we heal from past things and take on new things to finally heal the wounds that never healed eternally, even the past on things by generations curse for you to bear. I know you can. You are worthy of so much more than what you think you are. You are the light people look for when you walk into their darkness. Now it's time to brighten up your own room. As you're venturing through this year, I say to you, please forgive yourself so that you may find peace. Please open up and find an outlet that won't take you out like the rest did. Please love yourself so you can finally see what I see. Because you're so much more than that broken thing. You're so much more than a vent and leave. You're so much more than that 2 a.m. call that we all know what means. You're so much more than temporary things, unfulfilling dreams, envious beings, insecurities, the scars that people never even see. You're worth everything, even though you don't believe. One day you'll see you're going to go so far. You've been hard for, on yourself for so long. I want you to take a second and just breathe. Thank you. Good morning, Eagle family. My name is Bridget Pittman Blackwell, a graduate psychology student here at NCCU, and I have the honor today to give you instructions to participate on the virtual wall of healing and hope. The link to participate will be shared with you, and if you are typing it in, the link is as follows. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash BIT dot ly forward slash three capital H lowercase a lowercase l capital U capital K nine. The purpose of this virtual wall is for NCCU students, faculty, and staff to express feelings, share messages of encouragement, and share prayer requests as a means of release on the journey of healing and hope. You may access the virtual wall on your phone, tablet, or computer. Once you are on the virtual wall, simply press the plus sign to write your message and press publish once finished. The virtual wall may be accessed during this event and throughout the remainder of today. Next, we will have our closing remarks and next steps. Thank you.
Good morning. I am Derek Stanfield, a senior history and political science student here at North Carolina Central University, and I also have the privilege of serving as our student body president for this academic year. Together, we stand in solidarity for healing and hope at North Carolina Central University. Many of us have experienced trauma and tragedy over the past year, and we want you to know that we care and together we will continue to move forward. We encourage everyone, students, faculty, and staff to practice self-care. Take a walk on the sloping hills in Verdant Green. Meditate for five minutes if you have the time or whatever is best for you. We have many resources on campus, such as Campus Recreation, the Aquatic Center, and the NCCU Museum, along with others. Today, let us move forward with hope. In the words of Christopher Reeves, once you choose hope, anything is possible. Thank you all, and I hope you look forward to using those resources that are available. The storm is passing over. The storm is passing over. 